The label embodied cognition refers to a variety of theories according to which the body influences and constrains our cognitive activity. These theories might have different assumptions and different views, but they have at least two common elements. The first, they propose that the body is fundamental for our cognitive processes, for our cognition overall. The second, they basically reject the idea that the mind is simply a computational device and that, can, that the mind can be assimilated to the software of a computer. The last 20 years have seen the spread of embodied cognition theories and also of a lot of evidence has been collected favoring these theories. Examples of this evidence are in the field in the field of um, object recognition and of language processing, of categorization. For example, it has been shown that when we observe an object, we activate the motor system as if, as if we interacted with the object. It has been shown that when we process words like kicking the ball or something like that, we activate the motor system, again, of our um, effectors, that we activate our effectors, for example, we activate the lag. Uh, it has been shown that when we categorize objects, we take into account the bodily aspects. Um, the, these theories started to spread uh, in the late 90s due to two sources, so to say. The first is the fact that um, some very important articles came out. One for all, the article of Larry Barcelo, according to which cognition is um, embodied and grounded in the sensory motor system and um, according to which uh, our concepts are given by, by the so-called perceptual symbols. In the 90s, there were also some very important scientific discoveries, one for all, the discovery of the mirror neuron system that widely influenced the uh, spread of embodied cognition. Now, embodied cognition views are quite established, but they have a lot of challenges in front of them. One challenge, for example, is to how to understand abstract concepts, so concepts like freedom. Another challenge is to provide theories that are more, that are more compelling in the, in, in the field of embodied recognition, of, uh, uh, in the field of recognition of objects. And another challenge is to better understand some aspects of language, some as, for example, syntax.